love houses like this. My dad said to me, buy an ex-council house over a Victorian terrace house. So an ex-council house would be like the ones I just pointed out and I'll come to them in a second. These are Victorian terraces, right? They're great houses, but these are local ex, local authority houses. And these houses are built exceptionally well. And basically what we've got here is ex-council stock, a whole estate of ex-council stock. These houses were built with massive budgets. The government had a lot more budget in the era that these were built. So they're built strong, they're built well. They've got plots, substantial plots around them. So they've got driveways, nice front gardens. They've got a bigger footprint. They don't struggle with damp as much. These houses don't tend to struggle with anything other than age and they need some maintenance. Whereas you've got these here on the left, Victorian terraces. These houses, these houses struggle with damp. Um, if they've not been repiped, there's a very good chance that they've got lead piping. So we're gonna have to have it completely repiped. And the roof, the roofs, most of them probably need new roofs if they haven't had them. So. Local ex authority, Katie loves. There's a reason Katie loves them. All of my portfolio looks like that, right? Uh, Victorian Terrace, these ones here. Still great houses, don't get me wrong. Much smaller in footprint, don't appreciate as well. Struggle from damp. A lot of them will need new roofs. These roofs are still going strong. Look, these are original roofs.